Hello fellow Dovakin, Queen Reaper here with another video and today we're going to be going over how to acquire the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. This is a vanilla item, you can find it in the base game. You only need the Dragonborn DLC though as it is located in Solstheim. We will be going over how to get the bow and then after we will be talking about the stats and the enchantment on the bow. So if you're interested in how to get this beautiful black bow, then stay tuned because we're going to jump right into the video. So the bow is located in the Kagramez ruins. We will need Kagramez resonance gems in order to get the bow. There are five total on the island, but we only need four. I'm going to be going over the four easiest ones to acquire. And the first one you're going to go over here to talk to Rivas Sarvani. He is over by the Silt Strider. Uh, he has a very short dialogue talking about his Silt Strider, and then he's going to have the option to ask him what he has for sale. He will have one of the gems available to purchase. So you're going to go ahead and buy that one. Once you have that one, then we're going to move on to our next, next location. The next one is located in the Chardic, and this one's a little tricky. If you've not come to Solstheim yet, you will need to go back to Tel Mithrin and talk to the Dunmer Needloth. He will start the quest line, The Path of Knowledge, and accompany you here to the ruins and grant you access inside. Once inside, simply go to the room to the right where the lift does, use the lift, and go down into the ruins. Getting inside is pretty straightforward. Just follow the hallway down into the main area. Go down there, the stairs and just to the right will be a little platform with two control pedestals. He will have access to one of the cubes that you need to uh, activate the pedestals. Putting the cube on the pedestals will either rise or lower your water level. The room that we need to access is to the right under the water, so we're going to need to lower our water all the way down by placing a cube on both control panels, which will drop the water level all the way down. Once your water level is all the way down, just follow the walkway all the way down to the platform. There will be another control switch that you will need to place the cube into to access the door. Once you've made your way inside, you will see that this room is also flooded, but do not worry, we don't need to do anything here. The room that you need to access is going to be to the right. So you're just going to swim to the right. It's in the southeast corner of the ruins. You will see a little roof area right here. You're just going to climb onto the roof, and that platform there to the left is where you're going to need to be. So Whirlwind Sprint will play a huge part here in order to access that, and then you just need to do a little hoppy hop to get up there, and then you can access the room via the control panel. Once the control switch has granted you access to the room, there will be a Dwarven Ballistic Master guarding the room. Just destroy him and there will be some loot to the right on the table. You will see a chest, some Dwarven gear, a bow, arrows, and of course the Resonance Gem sitting right there in the front. Now that we have two of our Resonance Gems, we're going to head to Kagramaz itself as the other two gems will be located inside and fairly easy to acquire. The ruins are very easy to gain access to. It's a single tower in the center of the excavation site. Just go to the uh, west side of it and go down the lift into the ruins. Once you're inside the ruins, you will go straight down the hallway. It is very straightforward and short. You will have maybe a couple dwarven spiders to take out on your way there. Once you have arrived into the giant room, there will be two reavers that you will need to take out. The master reaver will have the other two resonance gems that you need in order to get the bow. Now comes the fun part. As you can see, the gate here has nine slots and two of them are lit up. This is where your resonance gems are gonna come in handy. There is a certain pattern on each of the three doors that you need to access in order to get to the bow. Uh, memorize those lit up locations. You come to the pedestal here in the center of the room and place a gem in the exact same spots as the lights on the door. The gate will come up, locking you in for only a few seconds, which will mean it is starting your trial. You, there will be three trials you will need to complete before you can access the bow. They will get harder as you go on. Complete your trial, but do not die, because if you die, you will have to start completely over. Congratulations, you just completed your first trial. Now if you look, the door has opened, granting you access to the next location. Just follow the hallway to the next room where your next door will also be. You will see um, a chest beside the door that you need to access. To the right will be some loot, dwarven ingots and gear and other materials. There will be a chest underneath of there. To the left, you will see 
a mini closet style room with a lever. Opening this door will show you a steadfast German spider, which is actually friendly. You can befriend the, the little spider and he will follow you and do your trial with you. So you actually have a dwarven pet that will follow you everywhere throughout Skyrim now. So now you're going to repeat what you just did for your first trial for the next two trials. So the pattern on the second door will have three lit up areas that you will need to use three gems for. Just repeat what you did on the first trial. There will, this one will be slightly harder and you will gain access to the next area. I'm not going to ruin any surprises for you guys, so I'll let you find out about the trials on your own. I did not record them. Well, I lied. I recorded them, but I cut them out. But once you have completed your second trial, go through that room down in the hallway into your next room, which will be very similar to the first one. You will find a chest to the right and, of course, another door with a dwarven spear. You can befriend him or the spider. You cannot have both. You will need to get rid of the spider in order to have the sphere follow around, though. Again, you will notice that the third and final door has four lit up areas on it, which is what we need the four resonance gems for. So just hustle back to the main corridor again, place your gems and prepare for your third and final trial, which will be the hardest and will grant you access to the room containing the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate. Again, I'm not going to spoil any surprises for you guys, but once you have completed all three trials, head back up the hallway through your other two rooms and you will come to the final room, which will have a dead centurion in the center of the floor. You will see a platform with dwarven ingots, flawless diamonds, ebony arrows, and of course the dwarven black bow of fate. As you can see, it is a dwarven style bow. However, it gets its coloration because the bow itself is made out of ebony ingots, not dwarven ingot. You can also see that the bow has beautiful marbly effect on either side of the grip on the bow. Here I will show you a close up of it. And you can also notice that on either side of the grip, there are amber colored markings that slowly fade in and out of the bow at all times. Now for the stats on the bow, it is a dwarven style bow, however requires ebony ingot to upgrade, but also requires the dwarven smithing perk and the arcane perk in order to upgrade it. It has a base damage of 13, it weighs 10 pounds, and the effects on it, the enchantment, are granted with a 50% chance for each attribute to absorb 25 points of health, stamina, and or magicka. It's very similar to chaos damage, except in this case, you are absorbing the attributes instead of doing damage. If you also notice, every time you shoot somebody, you'll see different colored ores coming off the person. That depends on the attribute you are absorbing from, from someone. Blue is magicka, red is health, green is stamina. Sometimes you'll get all three, meaning you are absorbing all three attributes from your target. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below if this is one of your favorite bows or if you even didn't even know about the bow. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel as I will have more Skyrim and other gaming related content coming. And hopefully you guys will stay safe in your travels and I will see you on the next video. Farewell, fellow Dovican.